All right, we just finished rekeying this lock with the smart key technology and we went to install it and realized that, again, this is not, it's not in the right direction. Now you have two options, you can install the lock upside down where the key goes in upside down, which is one of my pet peeves. I hate coming to a house where the key is in upside down. Or you can actually reverse this. Now, when you buy this, a lot of manufacturers have right and left, but I've noticed that many of them are going to um, ones that you can actually just do some slight adjustments to the lock set itself in order for it to be a right or left with the same package. You don't have to worry about different SKUs. So let's take a look, look at this really quickly on how to make this lock set not be upside down. So what you notice, there's like a little pin right here. We're gonna slide this off. And I'm just using a flathead screwdriver because that's what I have right here. So this pulls out. And when this pulls out, this comes out as well. And you notice on the bottom that in, inside right here, this can go either direction. So it's coming out this direction. We're gonna rotate it the opposite direction. Slide the pin back in. Make sure it's tight on both sides. Okay, it wasn't going in because this wasn't, this wasn't tucked all the way back in, back in. Now Baldwin is a very particular lock set. Everything isn't just perfect because everything's designed to be very tight. You need to make sure everything lines up perfectly. There's not a lot of play in this. So I had to push this all the way in um, in order to put this cotter pin back in. And now it is basically keyed the other way. So this will slide in properly into the door without having the key going upside down. Now in this video we talked about how to basically reverse this to make it a right hand from a left hand or a left hand from a right hand. If you want to learn how to rekey this with the smart key technology, check out our video in the right hand corner.